Welcome back to the New Hampshire Insurance Department's Fraud Unit. Uh, my name is Brendan Harris. This particular episode is about a gentleman who had a motorcycle. He and his friend decided to take their motorcycles out one day when it warmed up in the winter time. As a lot of people do, they took the insurance off their motorcycles during the winter time. But on this particular warm day, everybody just sort of went out anyway. He was racing through the mountains with his buddy and he lost control. His motorcycle front wheel went into a pothole and he flipped off the motorcycle. He crashed into a car in somebody's yard, his body did, and his motorcycle crashed into the garage. And while he's laying there on the ground with a ruptured spleen, his friend came over and helped him take off his helmet where he then proceeded to call an insurance company and buy insurance for his motorcycle. The funny part was this particular carrier actually records all their incoming telephone calls. And so when you listen to the call of him buying the insurance policy, you can actually hear his friend in the background saying things like, oh my God, I thought you were going to die. Are you okay? And then you can even hear the policyholder saying, I'll never drive that thing again. I'll never drive a motorcycle. And, and then the person would come back on the phone and all of a sudden he'd be normal again on his conversation. He then proceeded to wait about two days, called an insurance claim. And this was uh, some pretty serious injuries. Again, it was a ruptured spleen, he was in the hospital, filed the claim. What he told everybody was he knew it was a nice day and he wanted to take his motorcycle out. So he called the insurance company before he got on the motorcycle and bought his policy and then he and his friend were racing around the mountains and then he crashed literally within 15 minutes after buying the policy. He didn't realize is that the, that call was recorded and that was the smoking gun on the case. Uh, I actually had the opportunity to go to the hospital and interview with him while he was still there and gave him an opportunity to speak with me and he did not disappoint me. He lied and told me that he had bought the policy before he crashed at which time I then allowed him to listen to the recording of him buying the policy and ultimately he was charged and found guilty of insurance fraud.